Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on a um, few other parts that I have. Well, it's not really parts, it's like more tools than parts. And um, yeah, I just want you guys to check this out in case you guys are in the market for uh, a set of jack stands or this is uh, the uh, three piece oxygen sensor socket set this is made from power built I bought this about uh, I'd say last year and I paid about I think it was like 40 30 40 bucks for it and I bought it at a Home Depot and I'm gonna show you guys how it goes what's in what's uh inside and how it looks guys so this is one right here it's very solid this is how it looks guys this is for the uh oxygen sensors this is one let me see what size this is. Okay, this is the 7 8 and 22 millimeters. This one right here. It's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little dark. Let me see if I can put the light on. There we go. Seven eighths, twenty two millimeters. Hope you guys can see that. Here we go. That's how it looks, guys. So, this is one of them. This is another one right here. Has an opening on the side for the cable of the oxygen sensor. This one is also seven, seven eighths. Right there. Three eighths ratchet. You can fit a three eighths ratchet in here. Or if you have an adapter that goes here for the uh, half inch wrench, uh, sock, uh, half inch um, ratchet, you can use that also. So this is another one, guys. Very nice set, guys. Feels nice and strong. Solid. And this is the other one, guys. 7 eighths also. 22 millimeter. has different different angles different sizes well it's all the same size but I mean I guess the angle in which you can put this in it'll make the job easier to take out the uh, oxygen sensor because some oxygen sensors some of them are in a tight spot so that's why these have different uh you know like as far as here this one is longer on top and this one is shorter. You see the difference? This one is a little bit taller. So you'll be able to get in with this one a little easier if it's a tight spot than you would with this one. And then, like I said, you have this other one here. 3 8 uh, ratchet. And, um, comes in this nice little case and this is it right here guys it's six four eight two five six four eight six two five right there in case you guys are interested in picking one up all right 
and that's by power belt and i got it at home depot so let me put this back in here and i'll show you guys this nice little um jack stand that i bought last year i have the other one in the car but this jack stand is very very good guys i have other jack stands that are bigger like for an SUV, but this one also is good for an SUV. So this one right here, guys, paid about twenty-seven dollars for both of them at uh, Home Depot. And uh, let me tell you, this little guy here, very, very good, nice and strong. As you can see here, it has a pin here for extra security. You can put that pin in there and let me take it out so you guys can see it nice steel pin you can put it in there for extra security and um, you don't have to worry but also when I put these on like when I lift up my car and I put the jack stand on I always leave the jack also for extra security because you never know even though these are good and they're nice and strong I always leave my jack also with the jack stand and I'll have both of them on but this jack stand here is very good it's nice and low it can fit under any car like you know like the other jack stands I have are like way bigger so these will fit like if you have a Honda Civic like I do it's nice and low so this one you just have to lift up the car a little bit and boom it'll go right in but the other one that I have, I will have to lift up my car a whole lot higher. So these are nice, nice size, like a medium size. And it'll fit right in with no, no problem. So these are very good guys. As you can see, this one is still brand new because I haven't used it yet. Like I said, I have the other one in the car. I only, I only use one basically because I try to do like, when I do jobs on my car, I do one side at a time, so I just use one because I don't have a garage, so that's why I only use one. So this is how it look, guys. Nice and strong. Very nice for the for the money. Very nice. I'm very happy I got these because they work very good. Like I said, if you have a car that's a little low or a smaller car, these work perfectly. But like I said, I have the other ones too that are like six ton jack stands. Those things are huge. Forget about it. That's like for a big, big SUV, like a big, I would say for like a big Lincoln Navigator or something like that, which those are very big. Or a Toyota Highlander or something like that that's nice and heavy. I mean, this one will work too, but the other one is better to be honest because it's more for like a heavy vehicle like that. And this is by uh, ProLift, as you can see. But these are very good, very good. No complaints at all about that jack stand right there. And like I said, this is the uh, three-piece oxygen sensor set. And um, as far as the jack that I use, let me show you guys real quick. I have a Husky three ton jack here. That's the only jack that I use. I've been using that jack for like two years now. Very good jack guys. Never had a problem with it. Always dependable, very strong. This is another tool bag that I have. Let me show you the rest of it, of the jack. That's it right there. very strong and I have the um, the pole there on the side to lift it up this uh, you can always use, you can also use this as a cheetah bar like if you need to loosen something that's very tight works perfect so that's what I use guys and also 
to loosen the lug nuts, it's good to get an impact wrench, guys. It'll make your job a whole lot easier and faster. So there goes mine right there. Dewalt. This will make your job to loosen the lug nuts a whole lot easy. DCF894. Works perfect, guys. With a 20, 21 millimeter socket. Very good. I've been using this impact wrench for like two years now. No problems at all. At all. In a 5 amp hour battery. So. That's pretty much it guys. So. I hope this uh, can help somebody out. Have a great day. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Take care guys.